Three-man booth, NFL Week 18, the first one ever. I'm Dan Salem with Bill and Bud. We, we got to get some good picks this week, ATS. I got to get a stay over above 500. Bill, you're, you're cruising. You went one and one Bud went one and one You're locked in for both both you guys' positive years. But I need some victories. I'm going to go all homer teams this week. But, Bill, you kick us off. Where do you got your picks for Week 18? Well, as we were just discussing, these Week 18 lines are just a lot of double digits, a lot of teams. We don't even know who's resting players. I'll tell you who is resting, though. It's Aaron Rodgers and probably Devontae Adams. So give me the Detroit Lions plus two and a half at home. Love that line. Absolutely love it. I'm staying away from the New York teams because that's the low hanging fruit. <laughs> but I will take the Bucks minus eight against Carolina. I didn't see a lot of the Carolina game on, on red zone as they were as they were playing. Probably rightfully so because it was just terrible. Didn't Sam Darnold throw a pick to end the game or something like that? I forget what it was. Uh, anyway, give me the Bucks minus eight. That team got almost as bad as the Giants over the course of the season somehow. <laughs> All right, what do we got for week 18? Uh, I'm going to pick um, Washington over the Giants. I don't know who's playing quarterback for the Giants this week. Um, doesn't matter. I, I, it doesn't matter. This is how bad the Giants are. The Giants got annihilated by a team that is going to fire their coach at like 4 o'clock on Sunday. That's how bad the Giants are. Dude, so the Bears um, destroyed them. I cannot believe dest- that. Destroyed them. <laughs> destroy them so i am going to go um against the giants and lay just whatever and give them 100 points i, I don't think the giants are going to score any points to be honest with you and then i'm going to pick kansas city over denver um denver, denver I, is just wow oh, go ahead denver denver's falling apart and they, uh, they're awful and that's fine i think kansas city it needs a bounce back game against uh they played a really hard game against cincinnati cincinnati is Watch out for Joe Burrow, man. Cincinnati is really good. Kansas City needs to win. I mean, they just need it because they, they still want that number two spot. Yeah, they burned me last week. I really thought they were going to handle the, the Bengals, and they absolutely did not. And I, Which Mark Chase at 400 yards receiving. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That, that Kansas City defense looked like it looked early in the season. <laughs> Unable to stop a fly. Um, but I'm piggybacking with you on, against the Giants. I'm, I'm going with the Washington picking against the Giants. I, I don't know if Soquan Barkley's going to play. It shouldn't matter. He probably should sit. They don't need anything from him in this game, but he's going to go out there and get hurt if he tries to give it too much. And their quarterback situation's a disaster. And then I'm I'm sticking with the homer picks. Phil, you, you said you're avoiding it, but I'm going to take the Jets. They're getting 17 points against the Buffalo Bills. This team has looked pretty good over the last three weeks. They almost beat Tampa Bay. They beat Jack Jacksonville. They had a close game the week before that. I think it was against Miami. And so they're playing pretty good football. They're playing as a team. They're having fun. I I mean, they're not better. They shouldn't beat Buffalo. They shouldn't. Buffalo needs the win. But 17 points is a lot, man. I I think that they could easily lose by 10, and that's an easy cover. All right, I want to jump on a couple of things you guys mentioned because you mentioned the Panthers and you mentioned the Broncos. Both of those teams, I believe, were undefeated in September and really cruising through mid-October. Both looked really good. I think they were five and one apiece, maybe. And now they've just had terrible seasons. This happens every year, and we try to pinpoint it. But I think everybody saw it coming from both the Broncos and the Panthers. What, what, what the heck happened? Like there, there was. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what happened with Carolina. Christian and McCaffrey. And I'll tell you what happened with Denver. <laughs> okay. Christian McCaffrey got hurt again, and they have inconsistent quarterback play. It's it's that simple. And I'm sure Phil, you can probably say the exact same thing about Denver. Yeah, De- De- well, and the Denver coaching staff is just complete morons. Let's just call a spade a spade. You want to talk about another coaching staff that's going to be fired at four? Well, not well, no. Seven thirty on uh, <laughs> seven, Denver is on that list. Vic okay. Van- There's no way, no way they bring him back next year. No, I agree. I mean, because they, they got they had two really good running backs this season, and they couldn't do anything with it, even despite themselves. I mean, at least Carolina has that McCaffrey excuse. Uh, but see, that's the problem with Carolina. They're a one-player team. That's it. McCaffrey goes down, their season sunk. It happened last year. Yeah. It happened this year. And if McCaffrey comes back next year and he gets hurt, it's going to happen again. But Carolina does have wide receivers that are, you know, they just can't get utilized. I mean, right. well, Sam, Darnold, right. Sam Darnold was awful. And then Cam Newton looked every bit of why he wasn't in the league. 
he was so bad that they went back to Sam Darnold. That's how bad he was. T- tell me a team that doesn't have consistent quarterback play that it, they're not they're not going to be very good. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, both of those coaches are on the hot seat. I wouldn't be surprised if if both of those coaches got fired at the end of the year. And that's just because they put all their eggs in, in baskets that probably shouldn't have been done. Matt Rule traded for Sam Darnold and gave him an extension. He was he was terrible all year. Yeah, we, I know we all expected a little bit more from him, especially with the Robbie Anderson connection. And, and that team had a decent defense. The reason the Jets have been playing better the last three weeks is because they've had some consistent quarterback play. Zach Wilson, I think he's nine, inter- nine touchdowns to two interceptions over the last six games as compared to the first six where he was complete opposite. It makes a huge difference. And that, that's night and day for this team when they almost beat Tampa Bay. I mean, they're missing a lot of players, and they still – they lost Carter early, and they still were right there. They probably should have won the game when they should have lost the week before quarterback played does in every single time it's but what but what have the jets had the last three weeks that they haven't had all year a running game probably bingo a running game and when you have a running game and you have a balanced offensive attack yeah it opens it opens up the play i mean listen zach wilson was making some great throws on sunday but the the, the problem is is that you gave tom brady way too much time and believe it or not with <laughs> And believe it or not, 50 seconds and no timeouts is, is more than enough time for Tom Brady to casually, by the way, just casually go down the field and score a touchdown. I expected him to do it, too. I, I oh, 100% yeah. knew he was going to. <laughs> I looked to Laura when they went for it on fourth and two and didn't get it, which was a botched play, by the way. Yeah. I looked at Lori. I said, they're going to lose. She's like, they're winning. I'm like, trust me. They're, when Tom Brady threw the pass, I wasn't even mad. I knew what was going to happen. We, we talked before the, uh, the Giants and Bears game. Not only did they not show it up here, and rightfully so, they cut to it on red zone with like, you know, two minutes into the game. He goes, oh, we have our first highlight of the game of the day. Mike Lennon goes back to pass. Ball gets knocked out of his hands. <laughs> pick it up and run it to the two-yard line. If I was watching that game on TV, I would have turned it off right there anyway. Thank God it wasn't on TV. So the, there's a debate like, because Baker Mayfield injured is better than the Browns backups. And the Giants have terrible backup quarterbacks. Oh, now, it's awful. Now, you don't want to need to play your backup, but you need a good backup quarterback. And I just don't understand how you end up with two really bad ones. They had all year to trade for a better one and salvage the season. They obviously were just – What are you going to trade? What are you, what? They were tanking. <laughs> nah, the season – nah, that – I guess in theory you're right, but there's no benefits winning any of these games. I don't want them to win any games. There's but, no- but, six, but six weeks ago, they, is what Daniel Jones went uh, out for. Six weeks, six weeks. They, 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 that was fool's goal. They weren't going anywhere anyway. We all knew it. I'm aware of that, but the fact is they've been trying to cycle through two guys that can't play quarterback. This was Jake Fromm's kind of you know first go here because coming out of college he was you know not touted high, but Bill, yeah, he, he threw for he threw for 24 yards. <laughs> I'm not saying he's good. I'm just saying this, this was – that was like – this week and last week or whenever he started were his first starts ever in the NFL. So Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily pointing directly at the Giants because I think the Browns, if they had a reasonable backup and didn't have to play an injured Mayfield, may have made the playoffs. They lost a couple of games they probably shouldn't have. It, they also don't have any receivers. They have Landry, a uh, hobbled Landry, and that's it. Everyone knows Nick Chubb's going to get the ball. So you stack the box and you make Baker throw the field or whoever it is. They don't have any receivers. Well, you know, they, they did have Odell Beckham at one point this year, and they got rid of him. And they became more one-dimensional, and it really hurt them. Well, they kind of figured it was going to be addition by subtraction. I, I like the Browns good. I like Mayfield succeeding. They need to build around him better than they did. They, they failed at it. So let's – let's early early Super Bowl winner. Let, let's do that. <laughs> I'm well, take, I mean, from what I saw last week, tell me who's beating Green Bay. Well, they were my preseason pick to win the Super Bowl. I don't have a reason well, then, to change. Then, then I guess you're still on them then because I, – I, I actually, I had the Colts, I think. Or that was last you had, year. You had, yeah, you had Colts last year. They were, they were uh, not good. Um, I have – I still picked the – I picked the Rams and the Bills, and yeah. I picked the Rams. I mean, if, if, the, if Matthew Stafford can play consistent and not turn the football over, I'm, I'm telling you, th- they, they could be Green Bay. Yeah. But I'm just worried about them because I haven't been and he's thrown two or three picks three weeks in a row. 
I, I don't know why, but he's been making a lot of mistakes recently. I'll tell you who's not winning the Super Bowl, and I'll tell you who's not even going to win a first round wild card game. The Eagles are going to get stomped in the first. <laughs> I promise you, that team does nothing but run the ball. They can't throw it. They can barely run it. That that team is going to get destroyed by whoever they play. You don't think the Eagles could beat Dallas or something? No, 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 no way. <laughs> what do you think about Tennessee? Do you think that if Derrick Henry can come back, what do you think? I mean, when Derrick Henry went down, everyone said, "Well, Tennessee's done," and they have quietly just. Kept is it going. possible? Is it possible he's come back? Yeah, I think so. When he's on the field, they're the most complete team, like the most balanced team. They're not as good offensively as Kansas City or Buffalo, but they feel more even.